Hello, my name is Steven, and this is my review of the Proxon DB250 micro lathe. This is the lathe itself with one of the accessories. This is a three jaw chuck uh, that's available for the lathe. Um, uh, you can see the live center that uh, holds the end of any stock. Uh, that you're working with here. This is the tool rest. Um, obviously the tool rest is pretty short so you're going to have to move the tool rest back and forth if you're working on a larger piece of stock say uh, something like this. Um, I've turned this round just to uh, play with it uh, when I first got it. <clears throat> right here I have a teeny tiny Christmas tree that I just finished making. This tree is uh, one and th seven eighths inches tall and just under three quarters of an inch in diameter. Um, it was a lot of fun making and uh, I, I stained it just a little bit with some uh, walnut oil. Um, in order to make these really tiny grooves here I used this saw, uh, not exactly a standard uh, tool for turning um, parts on a lathe. In addition to the lathe itself, I bought some uh, micro detailing uh, tools for working on, on the lathe. Um, I bought three different sets of tools. This set, as you can see, is actually made by Proxon. It has uh, five tools in it, slightly larger than the set I was just showing you. This set of tools is even larger uh, than the other two. There are only three in the box. These are uh, listed as being tools for turning pens. Um, whereas the other two are uh, micro detailing pens uh, or micro detailing sets. One of the things I want to make are uh, custom pens. So I bought uh, a set of uh, the inner workings of uh, cigar pens and comfort pens. I bought a variety of uh, pre-made blanks for making uh, pens. Uh, we have several different kinds of wood in here. Um, this one is zebra wood, purple heart, uh, not sure what the others are, uh, some more zebra wood. Uh, this one is uh, jatoba, also known as Brazilian cherry, and uh, here we have um, more purple heart. Uh, Purple Heart is actually what I made the, uh, the little tiny Christmas tree out of. Oh, and over here, uh, some more w um, blanks, pen blanks, um, for making stuff in general, not just pens. Uh, this is Black Walnut. Now right here is a teeny tiny wooden mushroom that I made on a friend's lathe. Um, this one is, was a lot of fun to make. Uh, the top part and the stem are made separately. Um, this one has not been treated with any oil of, uh, of any sort, so it's, uh, it's just natural wood color. And the rim of the mushroom is bark. It, uh, just sitting on, on the counter, it looks remarkably natural. Now, when I first got this lathe out of the box, I realized, okay, this thing is light and uh, the aluminum is slippery on the bottom. It's going to uh, slide around all over the place. I need to stabilize it. So I went out and I bought a uh, 16 by, I don't remember what this is, maybe 30 inches, a uh, piece of oak that um, I wanted to use, uh, because it's a hardwood, it's going to uh, 
not dent as easily if I drop tools on it. Um, also, it's going to be nice and heavy to uh, reduce vibration. And I just used a couple of uh, Irwin Quick Grip um, clamps just to put it on the uh, workbench here. Work, they work just fine. It's uh, nice and stable. It doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't vibrate. Um, the stock that I'm working with uh, comes out just fine. I'm having a lot of fun with this. I'm looking forward to uh, making mushrooms and pens and more Christmas trees and whatever else strikes my fancy uh, with my new toy. Uh, if anyone out there is uh, interested in buying the Proxon, my advice would be if you're interested in making something small and um, you don't want to build too much stuff uh, that's large, go right ahead. The only caveat is if you want to make pens, you have to have what's called a pen mandrel. Now, in general, you have to have one of two different types of Morse taper. It's called a Morse taper number one or a Morse taper number two. Uh, this this unit does not have either taper. Um, you, you have to remove the, the chuck here and put on something else. Um, one of uh, one of these collet chucks, uh, the 10 millimeter collet chuck, and a little um, let's see where is it? Uh, a little there we go. A little nut that goes on there and uh, tightens it down, holds everything in place. Um, that 10 millimeter nut fits onto this end of the pen mandrel. Um, that's, this is a, a completely different type of pen mandrel. Um, this pen mandrel is only available through um, this place, uh, Hobby Tools Australia. Now if you go on their website and you want to buy one, uh, their website, and you live in the United States, their website will tell you that they can't ship this item to the United States. Um, I went to their contact page and sent a request uh, telling them that I, I want this item. They went ahead and told me to um, give them my address. They would put together a uh, PayPal request a pay for payment and uh, they would then ship it out to me. It has been shipped but it hasn't arrived yet. Um, I was just so pleased with this uh, unit that I had to make a video right away and uh, talk about how fun this is to work with. Um, I will probably make another video about a pen once I successfully make one. Thank you. Have a nice day.